a new shot here. Actually, let me zoom in. There is no sound. And... Ba, 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 ba. Okay, cool. You are mentioning, you are thinking about the ending here. Look at the camera fly off, run away. Any other suggestions and trying to avoid your common traps. I think it's a cool idea. I like it. I like that. Especially how it goes into this. A couple of thoughts on that transition. In terms of your common traps, I think it, it happens around here where you're very pose to pose, where that's a pose. And then we go pose. And you can see here, I'm scrubbing. Yeah, you can't see it, but there you go. Whoop. And then there's not much going on. You have a bit of a, I mean, you can, if you do this, you can see what is going on, but it's very much pose to pose. And then that's not too bad because you're turning your head, but even then you have this, this, that's a wrong tool here. <laughs> that and uh you can see how it's moving all at the same time so again it's very pose to pose this feels a bit more overlappy which is good but then you have another moment where that's not too bad like the hand continues a little bit it's all very subtle but this is the one where you go and stop that also the, the end of the shot so i would still look at more overlapping actions but so if you go just from a technical point of view i don't mind this i think i like that he goes back Brings up the foot first, but then here we're off balance. You can see this slight lean back here where he would be much more over this leg here, if that was English, <laughs> to then take that step. You mean like this is like he would be on like a, on a bar stool or something, leaning against it. So this to me feels more balanced. So watch out for that. And then definitely the pose to pose aspect of it. I mean, if he is... If he looks here, also watch out. It, we don't quite see the pupils, but it has a slight feel of that. I can kind of buy it, but it feels more like this. But when you do this, he looks here, here. I mean, I know the pupils are a bit lower, but still, like, why is he looking over there? Even this feels like he's looking over there. Now we're actually looking. So it also kind of look at eye line and, and kind of the, the point of interest, too, for him. Because the thing is, if he is, if he sees this, like imagine the shot starts where you don't have to do this, but where it's like a different pose, even as tense there, maybe just kind of a normal, normal stance, kind of like, oh, what's going on today? And then poof, this suddenly appears. And then he turns around and goes, oh, what is that? And if he does this, and then with a slight pause, looks around again, that would be like, oh, I don't know, am I supposed to grab this? I don't know, maybe. Then he could lean down and then still look. Then I buy the fact that he would still look. It might even look around. Oh, you know, over the shoulder before grabbing this. But right now, it's just there, and he goes towards it. So then, to me, it's like, you got to bring that head down and have him look at it. There's no reason for him to look this way, if that makes sense. Also, watch out on that move down. It's very stiff here where you got your head, neck, and chest go as one. This is like one. Put this here. You can see it's just, it's just a stiff plank in his back, so there's no breakup between these. And to me, this would be if he goes and looks at this or not or looks around just in case you know someone sees him or not that to me then breaks this up because then your acting is different right if he goes towards this that i will bring the head down first because he wants to look at this and to me that would be the driving the leading part of that action and then he brings his arms down versus oh i gotta look around for is anybody stealing this but i also don't want to let it go so then to me, the leading action would be with the arm because the arm wants to grab this, but the head stays up looking around just to check if anybody sees him. If that makes sense, right? You got to think about uh, those type of actions there. And even this here, so when he comes down, this could be outstretched more where he's already grabbing this. So this is already there while this is maybe a bit higher. And then he finishes that squat a bit more. And as that squat is finishing, settling with a little bit of a bounce, this arm will then bring this up and then the body goes up and so on. So you gotta really think about, is this moving first? Is this moving first? Is this moving first? Is his butt moving first and why? So you gotta think about his motivations. Is he just grabbing this because he's nervous? Is he grabbing this nervous about other people around him? And so on, is he nervous because maybe something else might show up? Whatever your story is, that's gonna drive his actions and the leading body parts. Now for this, it could be kind of interesting if you do this, that 
that pose he has here, right? So he has his arm pose with the hand out. He would uh, still have that. And then you can have a little bit of a little dust. It finishes off. It, you don't have to. To me, it doesn't break the shot. But it would be an interesting kind of a, what's the word? Something that binds those two together. Like this could be also a totally different character, like whatever it is. I mean, like if, if you have anything that resembles this pose and this action, when you get to this, it kind of connects them a bit more. Because now we have a point. Why is he pointing? Is he pointing there? Like, again, like what is, what does this pose mean? Why? This is more like, oh, watch out. But then why is that point there? So that's why I feel like, what if we keep this hand pose here? as a connective pose in a way if that makes sense if that's again english and then he could almost i mean yeah he can he could just look down what if that end pose not that you have to match this i mean the, the most obvious thing is to just match this completely but i don't mind that it's different but if you would have just one little thing where he might still look down because then as an audience we're also we're following his eye line right we go and all i'm seeing is oh why is he looking up? What happened? Why is he pointing? I missed something. So now it suddenly gets a tiny bit confusing. It's not crazy confusing, but you know, you can still connect this a bit more. Here he's just kind of trying to listen, he's shaking. And then here, imagine that hand would still be here. He would still be looking. I mean, of course, you could also totally match that pose. And then when he gets to this, he goes, oh, what is that? Oh, really? Huh? And again, the post to post thing would be to avoid this would be the, the head goes first. Because again, we have head movement and this moving at the same time. And he might look down and not do this right now. He might look, oh, okay, what else? What else is different? Oh, I guess my, my shoes are my uh, boots now. And once he looks down, this is still down here, right? Then he does a weight shift to lift up his leg. So it's more like this is first, then this, then this. This because he wants to look down what else has changed. Two, because then he has to kind of move his body forward. So in terms of silhouette and line of action, it wouldn't be towards cameras. That's kind of flat. It would be more uh, leaning over to look down at his foot. So again, one, two, and then three, because, okay, now I'm going to bring up my foot because I want to know what happens. Now, pose-wise, this would have to be something like that just because of, of balance, right? Whatever the, the pose is there. So think again in terms of, what is leading the action why like the reason is you know in terms of what is he does he want to look at something what now he's observing and stuff like that and then you can go into an ending where he seems confused does it how does it get resolved is he happy about it um is that a disappointment is, is that not something that he wanted um maybe you would have other set pieces maybe he is you know where the, where is this? maybe this is in a store you know, get some other stuff around here and he found this on, on the on the ground and then he gets mad. So then he just ah, like stumps the table. He's like, oh, maybe it's with his arm. Like, ah, but then he's so strong that everything breaks. I know you would have to animate all this breaking, just adding stuff. Could also be here is empty, he looks around and then he, he kind of looks around again and maybe goes, huh? And that's kind of a, like a little squeeze body feel so that he starts hovering. Like, you know, he might think, can I fly? But I don't want to fly away because I don't know if I can. So it would be just him going, huh, maybe, maybe I can fly. So he gets kind of, eh, don't do this, but, you know, arms back and like, okay, okay, maybe I can fly. And he goes, eh, imagine, you know, he's maybe <laughs> going number two, that kind of face. And then he starts hovering and then floats around left, right, a little bit. He goes, oh, oh, and he's like, hey, I can actually float. Maybe I can fly. And then he flies off and then off screen and then comes back here and wee as an exit. Whatever you want to do. I don't know. There's, there are a bunch of things you can do. I think. Uh, and again, I don't want to dictate things. This is your shot. But I would look at, you can have common tropes. Superheroes, they're strong. He looks fairly strong. Um, can he fly? Maybe he can be invisible. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe there could be something where this box here, when he's transformed, that box is on the ground again, kind of wiggling a little bit. That we saw it kind of fell, but it's there. And then once he's done going, oh, what else is there? And suddenly this starts having, maybe some light is emitting something. And then he goes, and gets sucked into this. And he, because he's a genie now. Like, I don't know. There's so many things you can do. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Think about something that's fun to do, to animate as well. Uh, and go from there. We obviously discuss this via email. This will be part of the submission. So let me know what you want to do. Uh, if you need more ideas or anything. But I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.